Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a full custom, full screen global header with Divi's theme builder. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so right now I'm in my admin dashboard. So, the first thing we need to do is to hover over here where it says Divi and click on theme builder. So as you can see, I've got nothing built here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to add a global header by clicking here. I'm gonna click on build global header and I'm gonna click on build from scratch. Right, so as you can see here, this is our first section. So what we're gonna do here is to start by adding a background color. So I'm gonna come over here, click on the section settings. I'm gonna come over here to background and then I'm gonna add my background color by clicking this plus button. So the color I'm gonna add here is an RGBA value, which means it has transparency. So I'm just gonna drag the slider down and I'm gonna paste my values here between the brackets. And by the way, if you wanna use the exact same settings as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so the next thing is to go over here to design and this time we need to add our padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and add zero both to the top and the bottom. Next, we're gonna come over here to advanced, and this time we need to add a CSS class. So I'm gonna come over here to CSS ID and classes, and on CSS class, we're gonna add section transform as our class. And then over here on visibility, what we need to do is to go over to horizontal overflow and vertical and set it to hidden. And I'm gonna do the same for vertical. And then over here on the index, I'm just gonna drag this all the way to 999. And then we're gonna save. Next, we're gonna add our column structure. So we're gonna start off by clicking here on this plus button. And this time we're gonna add a single column. So I'm gonna add it here. Now, before we add any modules here, I'm just gonna close this and uh, make some adjustments to our row settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. And then I'm going to come over here to design sizing. And we're going to start off with a gutter width. So this just ensures that there are no spaces on our columns. So I'm gonna drag this all the way down to one. And then over here on the width, I'm gonna set this to 100%. And I'm also gonna do the same here for my width, maximum width. Next, we're gonna come over here to spacing and add our top and bottom padding, set this to zero. I'm just gonna activate the chain here so the value can be applied both to the top and the bottom. Now it's time to add a text module. So I'm gonna save this, click here on this plus button, and I'm just gonna search for my text module and select it. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of all this text and we're just gonna add this symbol, the hamburger symbol. So I've just pasted it in there. Now I'm gonna go to my text settings. So to do that, I'm just gonna click here on design text. And the first thing we're gonna do here is to add our font. And our font here is called Abril Fat Face. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna set my text color to black. And then on the text size, I'm gonna set this to 3VW. And on the line height, I'm gonna set this to 1EM. Now, while we're here, we might as well set our settings for the desktop and the tablet view. So I'm gonna come over here. And on the tablet view, I'm gonna set this to 5VW. And on the phone, we're gonna set this to 7VW. Now let's head over here to spacing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some padding both to the top and the bottom, and this is gonna be the equal amounts, which is two VW. So I've applied this to both to the top and the bottom, and we also need to add three VW both to the left and the right. So I'm just gonna add it here. Next, we're gonna come over here to the advanced tab, click on CSS ID and classes, and on the CSS ID, we're gonna add an ID called menu open. We're gonna save this. And then I'm just gonna hover over here and add a second row. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. Again, it's gonna be a single column. We're gonna close this for now and then go into our row settings and uh, click on design sizing. And here we need to make sure the width is set to 100% and also the maximum width is also set to 100%. Now let's head over here to spacing and adjust our margins. So I'm gonna start here by adding two VW both to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna activate my chain and we also need to add left and right padding. So this is going to be 19 VW. I'm gonna apply this both to the left and the right and then save. Right, now it's time to add our text, uh, text module. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. So in here, I'm just gonna add some text which says home. Now, what is important here is to make sure that you link this text to 
the home page. So the quickest way to do it is to come over here to link and then just paste your link over here. So in this case, I'm just going to copy it here at the top and then I'm just going to paste it in here. Now let's head over to the test text settings. So I'm going to click here on text and the font we're going to use here is Poppins. So I'm going to search for it and select it. And our weight here is going to be semi bold. The color here is going to be black and the size is going to be 3VW. Now we may need to do a bit of adjustment here on the letter spacing. So I'm just going to add minus 0.1 just so that we can just bring those letters a bit closer together. And on the line height, I'm going to set this to 1EM. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do here is to come over here to, uh, to spacing. So on spacing here, I'm going to start off by adding 1VW to my margins. And then on the bottom padding, I'm going to set this to 2VW. And the left padding, I'm going to set this to 3VW. The next stage is to add a bottom border. So I'm going to come over here to border. And uh, I'm going to go with a bottom border here. So let's set our size to 1 pixel. And our color here needs to be a very dark gray. So the color I'm going to add, I'm going to do it by clicking here on this eyedropper tool. In fact, I've got the color that I need here, which is a dark gray. Now, we also need to add a CSS class to this. So I'm going to come over here to Advanced, CSS ID and Classes. And my CSS class here is going to be called Menu Item Click. So now that we have this text module, all we need to do now is to clone this about three times by clicking this Clone button. And then all you have to do is to go into each and one of these and change the title. So for example, here, we can just save this and uh, name this services and then go ahead and do the rest now what you can also do here is to add a social media follow module so i'm going to click on this plus button and then just search for social media follow there it is and then you can add all your social media icons here by just clicking on this plus button and then choosing the ones that you need to add so in this case i'm just going to add pinterest and uh, maybe i might just add instagram because it's also quite popular so I'm going to select Instagram there. Now we're going to just customize this by going over here to design icon. And on the icon color, I'm just going to set this to black. And then over here, I will use icon font size. We're going to say yes. And for the size, we're going to set it to 1VW. And what you may also want to do here is to get rid of the background. So I'm going to come over here and then just delete it. So you want to do, you want to do the same to all these by just coming over here to your settings and then just deleting the background. So as you can see, things are not in line here. So what you want to do is to click here on design, spacing and add left padding of 3VW. Now this module also needs a CSS class. So I'm going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And my CSS class is going to be called menu item click. And then we're going to save this. So the next stage is to add a third row. So I'm going to click on this plus button. This is going to be a single column. So I'm going to select it. Now here we're also going to add some top and bottom padding. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, design, spacing, and top padding and bottom padding is going to be zero. So I'm going to add that. Now the next stage is very, very important because this is where we need to add our jQuery and CSS code. So I'm just going to save this here, click on this plus button, and we are going to add a code module. And here it is, I'm going to select it. And this is the jQuery code. Now this code can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So make sure you go and download or copy and paste this code from the actual post. So once you've added the code, you just want to save this. And then we're going to add another section by clicking here. And then this is going to be a regular section. So before I add any modules in here, I'm just going to go to my sec uh, section settings and then click here on background. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just to add full transparency to my background by just dragging all this all the way down. And then we're going to come over here to design and add top and bottom padding. So I'm going to set this to zero. We're going to come over here to the advanced tab. Click on visibility and our Z index here. We're going to set this to just a very high number. And we're also going to set our hover visibility. So I'm going to click here on this arrow, click on hover, and I'm just going to paste the same value again 
on the Z index. So I'm gonna save this because now it's time to add a new row. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and this is gonna be a single column. Now, before we add any modules in here, we're gonna go into our row settings. And the first thing we're gonna do is to come over here to design sizing. And this is where we need to set our width. And again, we're gonna set this to 100% and we're gonna do the same here on the bottom as well on the maximum width. We're gonna come over here to spacing and add a top and bottom padding, set this to zero. And then we're gonna save. So now it's time to add our logo. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and here I'm gonna look for my image module. So I'm gonna select it. And then we're gonna look for a logo. So in here in my media library, I have our default logo that we're gonna use here. And the size is 139 by 44 pixels if you wanna use the exact same size. And then I'm gonna click upload an image. Next, we're gonna come over here to design sizing and we can make sure force full width is set to yes. Now let's work on the padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm gonna add a top and bottom padding of 2.5 VW and then left and right, 3 VW. So pretty much that's all we need to do. I'm gonna save this. And then we're gonna come back over here to section one and do a few more settings. So as you can see, I can't access my section settings. I'm gonna click here on expand settings, click on wireframe mode, and then I'm gonna go into my section settings. So over here, we're gonna to go to design sizing. So what we need to do here is to add some custom widths. So I'm gonna start, uh, start off here with adding eight VW. So that's gonna be our width. In fact, let me switch over here to the desktop mode. And uh, what we also need to do here is to add our height and our height here is going to be seven VW. Now, I also have a bit of CSS code here, which I need to add into the advanced tab, custom CSS. And in the main element, I'm gonna add this CSS code. And again, as I mentioned before, the CSS code can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Now, this main, uh, this CSS code here also needs to be in the hover element. So I'm gonna click on this arrow here, click on the hover tab, and I'm just gonna paste it as well. So we're gonna save this for now. Now let's switch back over here to a wireframe mode because I need to go into the second section. I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, design, sizing. So over here, like what we did before, we need to make a few adjustments. So I'm gonna set my width here to 13 VW. Switch over here to desktop mode so I can see what I'm typing. And like we did before, we're gonna come over here to the advanced tab, custom CSS and the main elements, we're gonna add our CSS code and you can see here the moment I've added this our logo now has gone over here to the right and you may also want to add this to the hover element so I'm just going to paste it again we're going to save this and then we're going to save everything that we've done here so now we're going to close this and then save everything now it's time to check and see if everything has worked So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.